Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. Down in around this way. Helper H has completed their task. That is going to be the combine finishing the last of the oats. So let me bring you in here like this and then have a quick look in here. 53 cows we have now. That's down to 56 hours. But, like, if I dump in a load of straw pellets here, I mean, obviously the straw is not going to make any difference. It's the hay over there. That is the bit that's going to make the difference. So you can stay where you are. That combine is also now finished. So we've got both combines have now finished their jobs. Let that straw come out. And then I'm going to bring this one over. So I need to empty out both the combines. And if I just have them well out of the way of the road, I can just get them emptied and then I don't have to worry about them for a little bit. So you go all the way out like that. And then this one I'm going to try and tip into there like that. That's good. And then I'm going to go to the other one over here. This one's going to go straight into the truck, I think. Where aren't you going? There, right. Now you're going. Uh, yeah, this one's going to have to go straight into the truck. I'll just tip that one in like that. And then I'll move it off to the side of the road in just a second. Uh, so while I'm waiting for that one just to empty out, let's lower this down and go and get that merge max hooked on. And then I can start merge maxing my way up and down across the fields. We will start out on that side of the field nearest the road over there. And we'll start working our way back in. Now this one does dump everything. I have this one set so that it tips it out onto the right hand side. Which is the side that I want it to keep tipping out onto. So we're going to go up to the other end of the road. Other end of the road. We're going to go to the other end of the field up here. See if we can do anything with that so that it tips it out in the correct direction. There's that one little spot of straw right there that I can't do anything with. Which has got to be the single most irritating lump of straw that I have got. And I don't really want to keep that irritating lump of straw there. But in order to move it, it's going to mean I'm going to have to buy this patch of trees. And you have unanimous, unanimously said that you do not want me doing forestry in this series. So there will be no, for, not like any serious forestry attempts. So there won't be any serious forestry being done in this series. That's, that's not going to happen because you've all said you don't want it. Um, but it means that buying that piece of land right there... The only thing that I'm going to get from that is the ability to move that out of the way. Now, this Merge Max is only doing 18k. Why is it... On Ooh. I wonder if it needs to be repaired. I wonder if that's what it... Maybe... All right, I will take this round to the workshop and I will have a look. But 18k is definitely too slow as far as I'm concerned. We need this to be going at a considerable speed, and this is not what I would class as a considerable speed. So I will we'll just let it get down to here, and we'll run it round. But it might just be that it needs repairing. I don't remember us having it set this slow. That this is this is going to be painful. I'm sure, it's I'm sure it's able to do more than this. I probably forgot to repair it because I didn't repair the small combine either. Um. I don't think it would have worn the header down as much as it did, because that was almost like no repair on it at all on that uh, small combine when we took that one and sold it. Look in here. Uh, well, we'll repair you take all the way back to max. There we go. There we go. That would do it. And also, let me just have a look in here a second. Uh, not you. Customize this one. It's on 23 standard. 30. Customize. Yes. So I don't know if it was already on that or not. Oops. Unfortunately, like, you, you don't really get to choose whether it's, um... It doesn't, it doesn't put the setting on what it actually is set on. And, oh, uh... I don't think I can get fuel for a tractor when I've got no money. I think you do actually have to have 
Yeah, you do. You actually have to have money available in order to get fuel. So this tractor is going to have to continue running on air for a little while. Although, I mean, it's got half a tank, so we're, we're probably going to be all right. I think, I think we will cope with this bit. So let's go around there and back in this way. Was it able to do 30 before? I, you know, I genuinely don't remember if we were able to do 30k or not. Absolutely don't remember. Right, so I'm going to bring you up to there. I need to lower you down and start you, otherwise you hired help for some strange reason, decides to go and tip you somewhere where you aren't supposed to be. And now you can go whizzing up. That's better. That's more like it. Look at it go. I reckon it must... We must have already had it on 30. Surely, I, I must surely have already bought the 30k um, upgrade on this one. I'm 90% certain that I did. My only issue right now is whether or not this is going to behave itself and turn around the right way. Are you... Seriously? You are seriously going to go and turn in the wrong direction now? What is wrong with you? I really... I... I... I, I, I don't know what it's thinking most of the time. I, I really don't. I really don't know what is going on in their tiny little brain sometimes. But anyway, that's going to run down there. And then it will turn around and move it back. And it should be okay. I am going to have to just watch it down to the end of this row, though. Just to make sure that it is okay. And so long as it does the up there, it shouldn't, there's, there's not enough room between there and there for it to do anything, because what it might do is it might just get down to the end here and say, you know what, there's nothing over this side, I'm going to ignore the fact the whole field of straw that side, I'm just going to say, you know, I've, I've had enough, I'm going to give up, but no, he is turning the right way now, look at that, there, just need a little nudge in the right direction, just a little bit of gentle encouragement, that's what we're, that's what we're about here. That's what we're all about here, ladies and gentlemen, is gentle encouragement. That's that's what it's all about. Yeah? Gentle encouragement. Right, you gently encourage all the way up through there, and hopefully you can carry on doing what you're doing. You've got 48,000 in here. Uh, before I do anything here, I've got that combine. Uh, this combine here, I'm just going to move this one out of the way. Close that one down like that, and I'm just going to shunt it off over there like that. And then I'm going to switch over to there, and I'm going to close that one down. Then I'm going to go to you. Uh, no, I don't want to close that. I don't want to change that. I want to close this one down, so I want to fold that back. And... I want to do that, and then I want to just put this one kind of along there like that, and stop you as well. Then we can go over to this one, and I'm going to stick this back, and I haven't actually got anything else to do with this one for a minute. What we'll need to do is gather up all the hay first, then we can have a look at doing a little tiny bit of slurry spreading for the first time ever. Very exciting times. Go and bring you down here and get that front weight on and then this one can just sit and wait for a bit. I'm just going to unload the little bit of straw there. Like that, it's allowed a little bit. We've got a great demand at the ranch. That is corn, unfortunately, because we were looking at oats. Although that oat now, the price is just about to start coming. You know what? I'm Before I go and do that, I'm going to take this one and we're going to drive to the ranch, which is the one down there. And we're going to sell the oats we got. We've got 116,000 litres of oats. We're going to take this beautiful, beautiful machine. <laughs> yes. And we are going... Oh, that's so good. And we are going to go and sell all of these oats. And then once we've done that, we are going to then jump back and we'll pick up all of the hay that's in the field. We can dump some in for the cows and we can do, like, well, we'll store whatever hay is left over. And... I then we we gotta get the straw picked up in the field. Now that won't take all that long to go and gather up the straw, and then once that has been picked up and collected and it's out of the way, then the next thing that we want to be looking at is 
Ooh. Wait a minute. Alright, we'll, we'll... Yes! Oh, that's so good. Uh, yeah, uh, I was just thinking that actually the forage wagon, maybe we should upgrade the forage wagon. Like, we've got... The forage wagon is taking 90,000 litres at the moment, but the Stevie mod does actually do it quite a bit bigger than that. Now, I don't know if I've got updated version on this map, but we can have a look at that. We gather up what we've got in there. So let's just tip this bit out here. As long as it doesn't clip into the roof and make us go completely nuts. Nope, that's going absolutely fine. We will tip out the oats just here and get all of that glorious, glorious money. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. 214,000 euros. So I'm just going to switch that one off and we'll leave that one there. And I'm going to go to you because you are running up through there. And I'm going to just move it over into the next field just quickly. And then we can go and start. Doing, cause I'm, like The hired help will try to run down alongside that last run right there, which I don't want it to do. So I'm going to manually just go over here and dump it down. I'm just going to drive all the way down to the other end of the field and start it working from down there. And it's going to work from that side of the field over to this side of the field. And once we've done that, once we've brought it sort of back over to here and we've gone through and done everything we want to do there, uh, we're then going to um, have a look at... We'll, we'll pick up the hay and we will see about a bigger forage wagon because... There's, there is, like, the, the Stevie mod does have an upgrade on it. Um, I don't think I've added the bigger Stevie mod to my gameplay. I'm going to have a look. I know I've got it in some places. I don't think I've actually loaded it into here. So, we, we, I mean, I'm running the Stevie mod. That one. I've, I've got that one right now. And this one goes up to 90. I've got capacity standard, extension... And that's it. So there is actually an updated version of that. I don't have the other one on here. So I might update the Crone so that it's got the bigger option on there. And that, I think, could end up being a better fit for us. Because it means that we're not having to do all the driving backwards and forwards loads. Which is kind of like the annoying, time-consuming bit on this. Is that constant back and forth, which I don't really want to have to do. So, let's go and get rid of this in here. Actually, you know what? We could just get a little tiny bit of the hay and get that picked up for the cows. And then the rest of it we will just do with the straw. Um, like, get the straw done so that I can get uh, tractors in fields and planting. Like that that would be... We've got canola to go in, so we just, it's direct drills. We haven't got to worry about anything else. So, what is the capacity of these? I think it's half a million. If it's half a million, I only need to worry about the top fields. Uh, silo right there. And this one. Right, it's half a million on the silo right there. Uh, this is only 59,000, so I could buy the second one now, and that would give me a million storage. Which might be... It's going to be worth doing that. Hmm. I don't think I will, not at the moment. I don't think well, I don't think we're going to go with that just yet. I got three hundred thousand on here already, so I literally only need two loads, and I've got all of the straw stored that I could possibly want up here. And I don't think my cows are going to be using up a half a million liters of straw anytime soon. At least not until we've cycled back through and done all the rest of it. So all I want to do here is pick up one line of hay quickly. Dump that in for the cows so that they've got a little tiny bit of hay in there just to get them back up to the 80% production and then I can go and deal with some other things. And that one tree is in the way a bit, isn't it? You can see that right there. I'll just gather up this little bit down the side here. So six and a half thousand litres of hay. It's actually going to be 7,000 litres, isn't it? Well, very nearly. It's not going to be much out of it. Yeah. 
almost very nearly 7,000 litres of hay gone into there. That's going to make the cows go back up to 80% production as soon as we have unloaded that little bit. And I will now go back over to straw. We'll pick the hay up in a bit once we've got planting underway in the other fields. And then like we can do this sort of uh, alongside it. Um, and I might look at some more storage for straw. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm undecided on that. I'm sort of thinking that maybe I should focus first on paying off loan and... Ooh. We have actually got the money that I could go full on with uh, mixed feed production. It'll boost up the cattle by another 20%. So we get one-fifth more than what we're getting right now. I like this idea. An extra fifth. That's that's pretty good. We could, we could do that. We'll deal with taking straw over to the farm in just a minute. We'll run all the way back down to the bottom first and start picking up that down there so that we can sell it. There's a little bit of extra money. Maybe we will end up like getting rid of all of this up here. But I'm also going to want to upgrade. I'm thinking upgrading this crone to the maximum amount capacity, which means that we've got a lot less running backwards and forwards. That's going to make a big difference. So that's definitely going to help things out. What I'm also going to do is, before I start picking up the bit there in that field, is I'm going to go over to... I'm just going to get that little bit of straw that is lying there. It's been bugging me for ages. And there's another little bit right there where we occasionally stop the combines and bring them out. And then I'm going to go... If there was another bit there or not, I'm not sure. Uh, and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to gather up this little field here first. After I've done this one, I think I might just step out of game momentarily and then get the other mod loaded, or at least have this one, the, the, the crone one, but I'll update it. Have this one, update it, so that then I've got the, the full new capacity options, which are, I think, it's like 120,000 and 250,000. 250,000 litres instead of just 90, which we've got at the moment. Now, I don't know that this voucher is actually going to be able to carry that weight. That's going to be the next thing, is whether or not this tractor is going to be able to carry a quarter of a million litres of straw around with it. That's a lot of straw. So I'm, I'm, it, it's going to be interesting to see if we've actually got the power to be able to do that. If we have, that's going to be brilliant. That is going to be absolutely sensational. If, if we can do it, yes fantastic because like it's two and a half times it's more than two and a half times the capacity of this one right here which means that we've got a whole load more um material that we can carry around with us and it also means that we've got a whole load more um let's bring that in there um, yeah, well, we've got all this extra material that we can carry around with us, and we've also got the, uh, the, the reduced number of runs that we have to do. That's, that's the important bit with that, is that we don't have to be running backwards and forwards to the farm, or uh, backwards and forwards to the barn right here, and help if you actually went, oh, and I need to lower that one down. Stop moving for a minute. I'd pressed the wrong button and I had this mad panic for a second that I'd, the game had suddenly crashed because it wasn't moving. And um, yeah, that's, that's that's the life of the YouTuber. You, you record for a while and then like it, it suddenly doesn't look quite right. And it it genuinely puts the fear of God into you. It, it, it really does scare you. Um, that does. Now, you were about to turn around the wrong way and start going again, weren't you? This, this one right here, he was literally just about to go and start doing that. I I don't understand why he's got to keep doing it. There's no logical reason why it needs to keep doing that, but it does. It keeps insisting on causing problems like this. Now, I don't understand it. You don't need to. There's, there's no cause for this. I haven't given you reason to go and do that. I haven't ordered you to go and do that. Like, there is no reason whatsoever. 
and yet it insists on doing it. So it's pushing it out to the right hand side. So I'm going to bring you over here like this and drop you down there and away you can go. And then I will jump back down to this one. Start that one and right, you can go on round here. So I just want to straighten back out here. We've already got most of this field picked up. 26,000 litres of straw so far. It's amazing how much, like it's only a tiny, tiny little bit of field, but it's amazing how much straw we get from here. And it's also surprising, really, how much money we have made from the straw that we have picked up from this field. I mean, how much money we've made from this field in general is, is pretty impressive, I think. Like, we have, we have made a decent bit of income from this field. It was worth ploughing it all up. I mean, it was a fiddly old job, and it's a fiddly job working the field as well because like getting around the corners and everything but the amount of money that we have had come back from it i would say justifies the awkwardness and and so on and the extra work that's been involved with it now soon we will actually reach the point with our grand empire that the little bit of money that we make from this field well the the money that we make from this field goes from being a reasonable percentage of our overall profit to being a negligible amount of our overall profit and when it moves when it completes that step of going from significant to negligible it's no longer worth us bothering with it and that's when we want to like pile everything in but 41,399 liters of straw right there i'll bring that in round and empty that one out Put you two right there like that. So this is I'm going to empty this one out. And then I'm going to go and get the updated version of this one and install it. Not There is another one that I can use that I've been looking at. Um, which is, let's go into here, into loading wagons. And it's the up, it's the Stevie version of the shooter marker right here. I love it. It's absolutely brilliant. However, I've made some alterations on that because I'm considering using it for the time-lapse series. I've got a reasonable story for it. So, uh, but what I've done is I've really, really increased the, um, the cost of it, especially the upgrade costs. So it kind of like makes it a little bit more of a um a balance but so i won't be using that one in this series instead i'll probably just get the updated version of this one okay it's been a good few weeks since i actually did anything on here and i was i did just start doing something and then i realized that there was a mistake with a change that i've made and so i have had to sort of start over again I'm trying to fathom out exactly what this dude is doing. We started off halfway down that row, and then I started it going again, and now he's just kind of wandered over here and gone back over the bit that he'd already done for no other reason than apparently he's just a pure anarchist, I guess. But anyway, what we will do is we'll set that one going up there like that. And then I will press the H button and get the hired help doing all of that. It's going to put that beautifully into a bigger row right there. And then hopefully it'll carry on and do a load of other stuff as well. Uh, so while that one's sort of figuring out what it needs to do, this is our crone machine that we've got right here. I've gone and got the updated Stevie one. And it decided that it was going to recolor it before it let me do anything else. So what I'm going to do very quickly is I'm just going to come out here and I'm going to jump into there. And we're going to have a look at the customization. So now we've got the working speed of 30k on that one. And then we've got the extension on here. So you've got the standard, which is 56 Extension out at 90, another one at 120, and another one at 240,000 litres. Um, I'm curious if the working speed would actually go all the way up to th 37. does seem like a little bit excessive, but... Uh, 
let's go crazy on this one because we've picked up enough uh, silage and straw and well a little bit of grass but we've picked up enough straw now to keep us going for a very long time so we'll go a little bit nuts on this uh we're going to go with the rim color of white we're going to go with the main color of red we're going to go with the design color of green so we've got a class a very classy looking machine right there so i'm going to customize that for seven and a half thousand and that one is then ready. It'll do 35k in the field and it will hold a quarter of a million liters, which I think is going to help us along rather nicely. So you in here, you are actually doing something useful now, which I'm pleased about, very pleased for you. And then I've got the cattle pen up here. Now, when I did this, I was suggested that, you know, I alter the capacity of the animal pen. And I did. I went into the game. I went into the XML file. Uh, you've got to go into the XML file for the map. Um, and then in there, you'll find a list of placeables. And one of those is the large cow pasture. And changed that to 3,000 capacity. And thought, yes, excellent. That is all done. And then I jumped in and I started recording. And I came over to here and I pressed the button. And it said 511. 53 out of 511. Apparently, the game is hard-coded to limit you to 511 animals in an animal pen. You can have no more than that. Now, I didn't know that. So then I spent a frustrating hour trying to figure out how to change it. Now, I have got... Uh, you, you Basically, you've got to go and add a line of code. You will have to go and search this up, and you will have to understand a little bit about coding. But if you go and search FS19 animal... Uh, max animal limit capacity or something like that, um, you will be able to find a couple of results for it. There's um, uh, one on Reddit and there's another one uh, on the FS19 forums themselves. And they give you one single line of message, two lines of code. Two lines of code that you can go and add. Now, I've got a mod, so you need to then take those lines of code and you need to put them into a script. You can't just put them into the map. That doesn't work. I spent part of my frustrating hour putting them into the map. That doesn't work and do anything. Uh, but what I've got is a mod from the Mod Hub, which is the Animal Husbandry's Limit. And you're limited to a set number of pens in the map, but that script in a increases it so you can put up to 32 pens on the map. That's so all you need is that script. Take that one and then the line of code that is available on the um, Giants forum along the... It's also the same line of code I found on Reddit as well. Uh, you just take that one and you add it into the Lua file on the animal script. The animal pen, the added animal pen... Um, add it to the Lua on that particular script and it's, it's really, really easy to do it. If you've got them there and you've done any modifications before, a little bit of trial and error on your bed. Look, I did it, all right? And I, I, I'm, I really suck at this kind of thing. So um, if I was able to do it, you will be able to do it as well if you've done any changes to XML files and stuff like that. you just got to think about it. You may have to do a bit of trial and error. Um the animal husbandry's limit increase one uh you, you can go and have that mod it's just a script you go into the lua file you add in that one extra line of code it didn't seem to matter where i put it i put it underneath the the line that was existing in there concerning the animal husbandries and then i jump back in and instead of it saying 511 up there it now says 3000 because the line of code that i've added increases the limit up to 4000 and 96. So we have now got the ability to have 3,000 cows in our farm right here, which I think is absolutely. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. 
Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.